Hello, Aries. I hope you're doing well. This is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. If you want a personal reading from me, you can just email me directly. My email address will be below this video. So, Aries, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with, facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not, universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Aries, for Aries highest good, please. You know, please show us what's coming up for Aries in their life and how is Aries currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Aries in their life? <clears throat> and how is, oh, this one wants to be extra message. And how is Aries currently doing on their soulmate journey? Oh my goodness, you're trying to figure out what to do with a situation where um, there's disagreement, uh, most likely with your soulmate, where there's misunderstanding, disagreement. You're not sure how to handle that situation, what to say. Yeah, some kind of disagreement between you and another person. For most of you, it's going to be your soulmate, where you feel like the two of you really need to clear the air to have better understanding of the situation. You're trying to let the soulmate go, though. Yeah, so before you wanted to hold on to that relationship and you wanted to make things work, but it looks like you're losing your interest now. This is you trying to let go of the situation all together yeah there's problem with communication so the two of you um are needing to really clear the air in this relationship in this situation to understand where this is possibly going relationship wise yeah communication issues are showing up here especially with this sword pointing down wow this person you're dealing with you're very attracted to this person um, this person is very strong-willed, very independent, attractive. Um, hmm. You know, please show us what's coming up for Aries and how is Aries currently doing on their soulmate journey? Yeah. Sword, 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 swords, all those swords. This is you worrying excessively about this situation. You were hoping to resolve this, but you get a lot of resistance from them. You feel like they don't hear you in this situation. Yeah, it looks like the two of you broke up before, got back together, broke up before, got back together over and over again, and you're getting tired of this repetition. You feel like if you two even find a common ground, you go, You might break up again. You don't want to repeat the same patterns. Yeah. Look at all these swords, 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 swords. You worry a lot in this relationship. You love this person, though. <coughs> Excuse me. You love this person. You're very drawn to this person. You're very attracted to this person. You're hoping still that there will be some kind of common ground where the two of you will understand each other and agree on something major here whether the two of you are saving this relationship or letting each other go yeah you're very drawn to this person yeah this person is very independent yeah they have their own mind they think for themselves yeah you miss them you love this person yeah, you miss this person. <sighs> Problems with communication are showing up all over here. Yeah, this is you trying to... So there's part of you that wants to completely let go and give up on this, but you're not able to because you still love this person. So emotionally speaking, uh, your heart is still attached to this situation, to this person. You're not able to let them go completely and move on completely. 
right? You still love this person. Let's see. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Aries. How is Aries currently doing on their soulmate journey? Yeah, this person is very strong. Strong-headed, strong-minded, very independent, attractive, yeah, charismatic. But they have a lot of worries about this relationship. They worry a lot about this relationship. I'm very curious to see if one of the cards over here will show up as suit of cups. <clears throat> oh, there it is. Ace of cups. This person loves you. But this is showing up as Ace of Cups, which stands, first of all, it's in the subconscious position. It's uh, love that's not being fully expressed, verbalized. Yeah. And here, this is them trying to make sense of this relationship, why it's so difficult to find common ground together. They also trying to balance their feelings, their emotions. You see, this is them trying to make sense of what's going on figure out whether they need to let you go completely or continue working on this to find common ground. Yeah. Wow. This is heavy. This is a heavy connection, very strong spiritual, emotional connection. Let me see what's going on with that soulmate. So they showed up in your spread already, which means they thinking about you a lot. Universe, please show us What's going on currently with that soulmate of Aries? And how's that soulmate of Aries towards Aries at this time, especially emotionally? Yeah, they're still holding on to some hope that this will improve. Oh my goodness, they're so sad. This is three of swords heartbreak. This person is heartbroken over this situation not working out. This is affecting them deeply. Yeah. You see the Ten of Pentacles is reversed. This person was hoping this would end up being a lifetime commitment, like long-term relationship. And the reason why they feel so sad about this disconnection breakup is because they love you. Yeah. There's a lot that they want to tell you, but are holding back right now. There's a lot they want to tell you. Yeah, you guys are so connected from past lifetimes. Six of Cups, this person misses you when they don't see you, when they don't hear from you, they miss you. This is them reminiscing of you, feeling very connected emotionally, spiritually. What a deep connection. Universe, please show us. What's going on currently with that soulmate of Aries? Yeah, you see, this is them trying to figure out how to fix this, what to do. This is them kind of taking a step back to look at everything objectively, to see if they missed anything, any steps in this relationship. Look how worried they are. This is them feeling blocked right now, confused, unable to see clearly. This is only temporary. They will see clearly in due time how to maneuver correctly, what to do. They, For some reason, they view you as their equal. Yeah. You see, they showed up as queen of wands. They view you as king of wands, matching their energy. Huh. Yeah. You see, this person is interested in long-term relationship. Wow, what happened? Three of swords, three of swords twice on top of each other. So they recognize that this relationship has a lot of setbacks. Breaking up, getting back together. Breaking up, getting back together. Uh, they scared that if the two of you will reconcile, that the pattern of behavior from the past will repeat itself that you're going to break up again they don't want that they want solid relationship also certain people are trying to figure out what's going on with this relationship whether it's people from their side or your side hmm, trying to influence their decision but this person has such strong personality i don't think anybody can influence their decision they're gonna do whatever they feel they need to do yeah they have very strong mind yeah this person is very connected with you they have a lot of questions for you 
trying to figure out if what they feel for you, you feel for them. If you want to continue this, they're not sure. So what's missing here is solid communication between you two. This is them trying to imagine their life without you. Yeah, this person, again, Queen of Wands. Very powerful person, very independent, strong-willed, with strong mind, decisive when they need to be. But right now, they're kind of torn between their mind, their sound judgment, and their heart, what their heart wants to do, because they have feelings for you. Right now, they view themselves as available, not in a relationship with you or anybody at this time. Very independent person, emotionally financially yeah this person is very independent i have to respect that yeah this is how they view you uh, kind of slow to action um they're not sure how to take uh you at this time um hmm uh so they view at this time like kind of taking your sweet time not sure what you want that's what they think yeah based on your behavior yeah so wow what a strong beautiful connection between you two but what's missing here is solid communication yeah aries we're gonna go into your extended reading obviously we're gonna ask about this soulmate but also new soulmates entering your life first however we're gonna ask about this soulmate's true genuine long-term intentions and plans for you what they planning long term then we're going to ask what they currently hiding from you whether purposely or can communicate for whatever reason but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good and of course at the end we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life including new soulmates entering your life new chapters new beginnings in your life also your health finances business job opportunities family matters friendships whatever it is you need to know they'll show it at the end of the reading as well so aries click on the extended link below this video in the description box below and i'll see you there love you guys